here at our leadership seminar, uh, Philosophy and Practice, um, in Klostermühle. And we just finished our second day um, with lots of activities. And I'm really happy that I'm here with uh, three of our participants, um, one of them from Aspen, Germany, two of them from Aspen, United States. Um, and um, I'm really happy uh, about the opportunity to um, introduce you and talk to, uh, with you a little bit about uh, the Leadership Seminar. And first of all, maybe I can hand over the mic and you introduce yourself to our audience. Hello, uh, my name is Eric Gross. I work for Aspen Institute United States, where I am a program manager for the Citizenship and American Identity Program. I'm Katja Griesen. I work for Aspen Germany as our uh, Transatlantic Program Director. And I'm Ben Berliner, and I work on our central communications team. So um, for two of you, um, it's the first time that you participate in a leadership seminar um, in Germany. Um, this has been one of our most international um, seminars. Um, we had actually only two Germans participating and um, all the others came from very different countries. Um, so what I wanted to hear first from you is um, what, what surprised you about this uh, leadership seminar? What is maybe also different and what did you take back uh, or what What do you think you might take back home to the United States, Eric? Yeah, so I mean the, the I mean the group's been incredible. Um, I guess the nationalities off the top of my head. So we have Germans, Americans, um, Ukrainians, a Colombian, uh, an Italian, and uh, I guess I've been surprised by how quickly we've been able to connect as a group and how quickly we've been able to jump into really deep conversations. Um, on these pivotal texts that, that we've been discussing. And I think I was just sharing with someone else earlier today that I was really having this reflection that people were grappling with really similar trends that they were seeing in society, but from different starting points. So people were um, maybe reacting to some of the same big picture trends that we're seeing in our politics, but then drawing from the context in their home countries. And that was really interesting to learn from. And I, I found it very eye opening today. Yeah, I think, um, first of all, it's a privilege to get to be a part of the group. Uh, as I think members of Aspen, it's always nice to get to experience what the Aspen mission is. Um, I think, again, so I would echo surprising that um, there is so much common understanding, I would say, across the cultural differences. Um, and I think one thing that has stood out so far to me that I do think will help moving forward, something that I can take home, you know, specifically in every day is, is you know, these themes don't only apply t on a societal level, but I think they also apply in a leadership context on a more, you know, local basis. Um, so th these questions of, you know, the individual versus society, how do you, um, how do you motivate uh, people to achieve, you know, common good? How do you balance those factors, I think is something that I've um, particularly enjoyed discussing. Yeah, and I just want to give massive uh, credit to Aspen Germany for being able to bring in so many diverse perspectives um, to share their thoughts, backgrounds, beliefs, and visions for a better future. Um, it's going to be really great to be able to come back to the U.S. and say, I have friends from Colombia to Kosovo. Yeah, and uh, we are all very proud um, that we have Colombia on board this time because um, Aspen Colombia, the initiative, has just become an institute a few months ago. So it's a new addition to our Aspen family. So this seminar is called Philosophy and Practice. Um, Is it, uh, I mean, you all, all of you got a big reader with lots of texts um, and you read Plato and many other philosophers, um, Kant and, um, and Hayek, and, um, and you're going to read a little bit more tomorrow. Um, is it helpful to combine philosophy and leadership and practice? Katja, maybe you want to start. Yeah, I think... Um Well, A, I think that this offers the chance to step away from that every day and get to think about the bigger picture. Um, so I just mentioned, you know, I think the similarities or the the crossover points between thinking on a more societal level and the more local level. But I do think, um, you know, thinking about it from this kind of abstract uh, or philosophical perspective allows you to do that maybe in also a more honest or um, neutral way than we might do in our everyday experiences. 
maybe I'll hand it to you. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, and I think this is a very intimate uh, private setting, which allows everybody to speak with a lot of candor. Um, and, you know, in my experience, once you leave college, there aren't a whole lot of opportunities like this. So to be able to bring in leaders from the private sector, nonprofit world, and uh, people who are really making a big change, uh, to give them the space in this environment uh, to talk about these big ideas is essential. Yeah, so everything they said, and then I think I have two or three things to add. I think one, one of the really powerful things about the Aspen text-based dialogue method is that you're able to jump into really deep and meaty topics, and by grounding it in a particular text, I think you can kind of bring the temperature down a little bit and make those conversations possible, which often aren't in, in today's society. The second thing I would say is that a lot of the texts we are grappling with are like foundational texts. You know, uh, we're reading Aristotle, and that is central to how so many of our views and norms have been established over time. And like on that leadership note, you know, sometimes when we're talking about leadership, um, it's easy to fall into sort of like contemporary cliches and I don't know corporate talk, et cetera. And I think that like when you are sort of going to the source, so to speak, for like how we've structured society, you're able to to engage in a much deeper way. And then yes, what Ben said, I mean, there are just so many, there are just so few opportunities to do this. And I don't know how often leaders get the opportunity to take that step back, you know, when you're just stuck in the grind and the day to day. And I think, yeah, it's really important that we find opportunities to do this type of stuff. So I have a last question to all three of you. Um, what is Espen at the heart and core for you? <laughs> I'll jump right in. <laughs> I think for me, Aspen is um, a diversity of opinions and perspectives and ideas and backgrounds. Um, I think that's at the real core of it, uh, because I think without that, you can't have a productive or a realistic or helpful conversation. Um, and I think it is about having those hard conversations. I think that's really central. So it's not excluding um really anyone from from having those hard discussions well in a, in a previous seminar I read a lot of quotes from previous Aspen presidents over the years and my favorite was from J.E. Slater in 1972 he said the Aspen Institute is an act of faith in the humanistic tradition oh. and I'm just gonna go with that <laughs> Boy, I don't know a better place to leave it than there, but I'll just say that uh, the Aspen Institute uh, is really a, a place for people to be entrepreneurial, uh, to take risks, no matter who you are, where you came from, uh, to really be able to bring uh, big ideas to the table um, and to be part of a network that is willing to hear you out listen, uh, collaborate with. So uh, the past few days have been incredible. Um, and I want to extend my thanks again. And I can only say thank you to the three of you, because Espen is for me, you. <laughs> um, the team, the spirit, the engagement, um, the being with heart and soul, um, compassionate for a certain um, an energetic um, idea, a mission, and a vision. Um, and uh, for this, I want to thank you and for taking the time and for also sharing your insights uh, with us and also our audience. So thank you very, very much. Thank you for having us. <laughs>